Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So we just got done doing our first test cut with the Professional Instruments Airbrain Spindle and some PCD inserts. And I'm kind of spoiling it here, but here it is. Um, it's actually way better than I was expecting. Um, but before we get too deep into that, let me sort of show you the setup we got here. So obviously the lathe is not built. Um, it's still in the process of being designed and made. We wanted to do some testing to get some baselines with um, the supplies we have so far. So we made some carbide test samples where we took some cuts with some uh, very sharp carbide inserts, but this is the first time we used PCD. Um, and the way we made these, these samples is Here's the spindle, which you guys have seen before. Um, we took it and set it up on the servo-driven axis that some of you may have seen before. Um, it's on the Clausing CNC mill that we have, Fritz von Juan. And really we're just using this as a kinematic frame um, to hold all this stuff. Uh, really nothing more than that. The other thing we're using it for is to do the down feeding in Z because we have tenth increments on this machine. So that's what we use to dial in the depth of cut with this. But the spindle goes on here, mounted vertically, held down with a couple clamps on either side. It really doesn't need much of any clamping force um, because everything is so low force. Just something to hold it in place and stop it from moving around. It's the same servo driven axis as you guys have seen before. Um, and what I've done is I've got it hooked up to an Arduino here. This is a very janky temporary setup, but I made a little program um, just to generate some pulses to drive the uh, drive the servo. But what it does, it, it takes into account uh, the tool radius, the spindle speed, and the other things, and it finds the absolute kinematic limit to how good your surface finish could be. Um, so for our finish pass, this is what we just did. We did 0.2 inches a minute uh, and with the tool that we're using, that gives us a four nanometer surface finish. Now, obviously that's not a four nanometer finish, um, but that's the, the absolute limit. If we did everything else right, that's what we could expect to see. So the spindle's on the table there. And then of course the tool is then held in the spindle. So there's still some, some crap on it, but you can see this is our, our PCD insert here um, and a little custom custom tool holder I made just earlier today to use it on this mill. Here's a, another one of those inserts. If you will focus. Um, so they're pretty sharp, but they're not MCD by any means. So the fact that we were able to get this finish just with PCD bodes pretty well for, for future experiments, that's for sure. Um, the way we got this finish is the same setup you see here. We used bow lube as a lubricant because liquid lubricants were flying all over the place and making a big mess. Um, so we'd rub some bow lube on it beforehand and that worked out really well. And that's what you're seeing here in the middle, these imperfections in the finish. Um, that's just bow lube residue um, from the actual turning process. So when we clean this off, um, all that, all that will go away. Um, so at a, at a glance, this does look pretty good, but upon closer inspection, there is a lot of bad stuff going on here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but oh yeah, so there's these bands in the finish. Um, and we're not really sure what's causing those yet. They're just patches that are ever so slightly more and less reflective. And it's, it's barely perceivable, but there are bands there. And it's only on the outside, about this, about this much. It's not so, not so much on the inside there. So that's, a, that's very curious. Um, not really sure what that's about. And there is some just general diffraction going on here, you can see. And that's because yeah, this is a, a PCD tool. There are grains to it. 
it's not perfectly sharp. And that's what's causing the diffraction there, is this is really not a, an optical finish. Um, if you want to use the, the technical definition of an optical finish, which is less than 10 nanometers. Um, so that's the setup there. It's really simple. We just touched off um, incrementing in, in tenths until uh, we hit. And then I just have three buttons over here. And I can press those buttons and it changes the direction of the, the axis. And that's really all there is to it. So super pleased with that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd give an update after this really awesome result. Um, thanks for watching.